I'm Ronnie from Ronnie's Garage and we're having our monthly tech meet and we're going to be taking apart a Turbo 400 uh, hydromatic transmission. Now we have the last part in here that's the rear band. This is the one that requires that huge piston to apply it and as you can see already just the metal itself is super thick. Linings aren't always that thick but this really has to, because this comes on, I think, in the high torque situations, first in reverse. I think they both come on. There we are. We have a naked case. Um, I encourage all of you to come in and look inside here. Will you, will you replace the nylon for the, the plastic gears when you stuff to you doing that? No. Not for that road day? No. Okay. That back together. Yeah. I'm, now, I'm, back in the uh, probably 15 years ago, you did a trans for me on a cloud two. I did? Yeah, well, your dad did. You, oh, you okay. actually did the work but for a friend of mine. And that I was the first one I ever did, by the way. <laughs> you were changing, you were playing with the clutches, and you put the same clutches in. Yeah, back then, um, the supplies weren't as refined as they are now. And a lot of the replacement clutches were flat on that hydromatic, and that just caused them, they're already a harsh transmission, but that made them even more harsh. So all the replacement ones that I buy now, they're wavy. So they don't have that harsh engagement. They're, com they're compressing like springs all at once, and when it engages, it's engaged, but you don't have that big slack where it just bangs. So, you know, I, I, I hope that thing still works, or, but uh, yeah, that's, that was a long time ago. This, this is 40 years, by the way, for this business this year. Ronnie, uh, this gear here mm -hmm. is made of some sort of a, what, plastic or yeah. Bakelite or something? It's plastic. What's it driving? That drives the speedometer. Oh, I see. So it's, it's not horribly critical then if it... Yeah, and especially when you consider the fact that it's driving... Where did my plastic gear go? driving that. Yeah. Okay. And when you think about it, they went to this plastic gear well after the electronic speedometer, but they don't need a, a heavy-duty gear to turn a, a cable that has to go through all this, and they don't have that much resistance. So this yeah. is a pretty safe way to go. Yeah. This, I might replace this, back to Greg's qu question, because it has the groove here, and this actually doesn't. Ah, it's got a little one, just so it doesn't leak. It'll function just fine. 